Hi YouTubers. I started this job uh, before I started this video once again. I'm always behind on what I want to do here. Uh, but I'm replacing the um, brake pads and rotors on this 2002 Chevy Malibu. First in order to do something like this you have to actually uh, jack the car up. You take your wheel off of course. Okay so then I was already starting on this job. What I did was these uh this caliper here. It's a 13 millimeter and 13 millimeter bolts in the caliper that connects the caliper to the caliper mount. Okay. So what are actually 12 millimeter bolts. Um, but that actually I've actually already taken that off. Uh, the brake pads as you can see are worn pretty good there. The left and right side. The in and out are worn pretty good there. And since I'm doing this uh going to replace the rotors also so what I did prior to taking anything off I actually spray a little bit of lube from here around the uh, caliper mount here I mean the, the uh, rotor mount spray a little bit of lube in there and what I'm going to do now is take off the uh, this caliper mount and it's uh, two uh, 13 millimeter socket they were going to be using uh, and then 3 8 drive ratchet let's see if I can go ahead and break these apart while I'm running the video here before I stop it so, so we ain't on broke these two 13 millimeter screws here bolts whatever you want to call them in your field the mechanics Take these off. And then you guys will see how simple this really is. They charge about $59 to $99 axle to do these things. That's if you're going to take the all the way down to the rotor. I took my glove off here before I took the glove off. I usually do this kind of work without my gloves being on, but I did take one of them off. These two 13 millimeter bolts are out right here. Okay, so the caliper mount. Oh, this is the caliper mount here. So it's usually pretty simple stuff to do. You got some of the tools to do it with. As you can see that just fell off. And this is the caliper mount. It really acts as a rotor guard too. But that's off. Once that's off. Then you can go ahead on it. Then we've already pre lubed the uh, rotor. Let's go ahead and take it off. That's pretty much what that looks like. Some of the easiest stuff to do. Uh, this is a little rusty. That's so why uh, uh, Uncle decided to uh, replace the uh, actual rotors also. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and then uh, we'll uh, reassemble this thing and I'll show you guys how it goes back together. All right. So uh, the type of rotors we're going to be putting back on here, they come from uh, Vance Auto Parts, I believe. Uh, the type is, uh, where's the tag? I'm tuning these things. I was going to show you guys the tag here. Okay, here it is. They come from, uh, I don't know where they come from, but this is the information for the uh, rotors for a uh, 2002. Uh, Chevy Malibu. This is what uh, uh, Uncle and Aunt wanted on here. And these are the uh, actual brake pads that we're going to be putting back on here. Uh, new ones. Alright, All right, so YouTubers, we got this uh, rotor, new rotor back on here. Um, I'll tell you guys some of the newer Chevys. You notice that this is one of the older Chevys, or one of the older vehicles before 2005. A lot of the newer Chevys have rotors, but they have um, screws. Mounted.
mounting screws in them where you don't have so much play in them when you put them on. But once everything's tightened down and and, uh, and the uh, brakes are, have pressure on them, this thing right here won't move at all. So I've got the mount back on. I'm going to go ahead and bolt it down. But this is how this goes back together. And don't forget that when you're putting this thing back together, the actual caliper mount goes inside of the, uh, the uh, mount for the screws here. Not on the outside. If you to put it on the outside, you're going to be in trouble. So just so you guys get a good look at what I'm talking about, the actual screws, the actual caliper. Uh, I mean, the, uh, yeah, the caliper mount here is actually uh, this thing right here. It's a caliper mount, but it goes on the inside instead of the outside. See how it goes on the inside? And you'll notice that the threads are on the inside of here. Okay, that's why it goes on the inside. All right, so pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this thing back together. Um, shouldn't take me but a few more minutes here to get this one back together and we'll get the other side jacked up and start on it.